नमस्कार दर्शकबिन सूर्य वेलनेस एंड योगा सेंटर र भक्ति दर्शन टेलीजन को संयुक्त प्रस्तुति अरुणोदय योगा को पहले भाग में यहाँ हार्दिक स्वागत करद आज हमी अरुणोदय योगा को पहले भाग यहाँ प्रस्तुत करते अब लग योगातर्फ Yoga yoga will be a series of of programs comprising the the different yogasanas, practices around the breath, practice of the advanced meditation techniques. We will follow the अष्टांगिक yogic path to conclude around the end of each program how one should start doing the practices of yoga from home. the most important thing is to understand how we will get ahead with this series of arunodaya yoga program each three episodes will comprise of a module which will give you a lesson plan which you should try to do at least for an hour daily at your home we'll feel very glad to present you the first episode of arunodaya yoga how the pr- practice of yoga should start is very important to understand we all know that uh, we are just comprising of this body and the breath so the awareness around these two things are very important so the first task that any individual should do before doing the practice of yoga is this let's start our practice from the awareness and First just sit comfortably in your comfortable position the way you are comfortable it could be the position of padmasan it could be the position of ardha padmasan or it could be the position of sukhasan the way you are comfortable you should sit in you should sit in that position after making yourself comfortable just hands at rest over your knees face with minimal contraction chin slightly down and your eyes closed first just try to be still body with minimal movements after staying still for some time just try to disconnect your awareness from the outer world and try to confine it towards your inside to feel your own body one time just try to feel the presence of your head your own neck your hands right hand left hand feel the presence of the front and the back part of your trunk and then your legs right leg left leg after feeling your whole body one time just locate how your body is breathing and try to follow the path of your inhalation and exhalation for some time preparing your mind and your body for the yoga practices we will starting our practice we'll chant gayatri mantra for two times you could join a palm in namaskar mudra thumb touching the body get ready om bhura bhuva swaha तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवीम धियो यो न प्रचोदया भूरभुव स्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भ 
भर्गो देवस्मह धियो यो न प्रचोदया शांते 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 टेक अ डीप ब्रेथ इन एंड वाल एक्सेलिंग जेंटली ओपन अप your eyes now after finishing our prayer awareness of the body and breath let's start our practice the first thing that we should do before starting the practice of yoga is to make the flow of blood uniform throughout the body we'll practice supta tadasan for that legs both of them close hands close with the body palm on the ground body straight and stretched slowly raise both of your hands from the front and take the back of your palm towards the ground and when your palm has reached towards the ground try to stretch each joint of your hands upward and stretch your feet down interlock the fingers turn palm upside and maintain this stretch for some time close your eyes and just try to feel the spread of stretch all over the legs hands back abdomen innermost and try to sense how your body is breathing at this point of time after making the flow of blood uniform after heating up the body to some extent now the body will be ready for the practices ahead before getting into the second practice let's release this practice first unlock your palm and on the same reverse path take your hands back by the side of the body and when your palm has reached towards the ground spread your legs spread your hands loose up your whole body for some time the crest body completely at ease it is said in the scriptures on yoga that after making the flow of blood uniform throughout the body one should start with the abdominal practices let's do that first thing the preparatory position legs both of them close hand close with the body palm on the ground body straight and stressed Now before starting the practice we should know that there are three abdominal layers three layers of muscle one below the navel region around the navel region and above the navel region we should start with the lower abdominal muscle let's start the practice of ardha halasan in its three variations first simply raise your right leg up to 1 feet from the ground just 1 feet the position of the right heel a feet toe pointing away and your legs stressed breath natural with the position with this position right now we just release the contractions and the weakness of the lower abdominal muscle improving its strength just some seconds you could do this position for 20 seconds 30 seconds according to your strength and whenever you find an easy feel free to get back to crest and again try but if you're fine just 10 seconds more breath natural gradually drop your right leg back towards the ground the same practice with the left leg legs close hand close with the body and slowly raise your left leg up to 1 feet from the ground toe pointing away from the body just stay over here for some time breath natural gradually drop left leg back towards the ground legs still close hand close with the body palm 
touching the ground body straight stressed now shift your mental attention towards the region above your navel area where lies the upper abdominal muscle and gradually this time try to raise both of your legs up to the 90 degree position breath natural and you should sense some sort of abdominal contraction with the position the body could vibrate initially no problem let it vibrate let's gain some strength around the abdominal muscle all these are these positions will help you in burning the unwanted fats around the abdominal area but you need to stay in this position for some time and for that you need to build up the strength gradually slowly drop your heels back towards the ground and for that we'll rely on the practice called as pavan muktasan two variations of this first with one leg and the second with both the legs we'll start with one leg first get ready the preparatory position legs close hand close with the body palm on the ground fold left leg and keep your left foot on the ground yes and while your left sole is touching the ground just try to sense some easiness getting spread around the back and the left leg now move your left leg towards abdomen and catch hold of your left knee with the lock palm and try to put maximum possible pressure from your leg towards abdomen head still on the ground at this point of time you should be aware of the different joints of your hands and gradually your head up and chin very close with your left knee as much close as possible take care of your neck while you're doing this position and it is very important to keep your awareness inside the body while you are into the position you should feel what is happening around the different components of the body for this position neck upper back the joints of hands legs with the moments of restlessness feel free to take your head back take rest and we could try again gradually all of you take your head back hands by the side of the body and left leg back towards the ground fold the right leg and keep your right foot on the ground hand close with the body palm touching the ground body straight now move right leg towards abdomen and catch hold of your right knee with the locked palm and slowly your head up and your chin very close with the right knee all of the joints of the body are getting their due while you are practicing this position ankle joint knee thigh joint shoulder joint elbows wrist the different joints of your palm neck upper back all are getting strength with this position and gradually your head back hands by the side of the body and right leg back towards the ground body still in that preparatory position legs close hand close with the body both the legs fold both the legs and keep your foot on the ground heel very close with the body now move both the leg towards abdomen and catch hold of your both the knees with the lock palm held still on the ground maximum pressure on your leg towards abdomen and at this point of time you should be aware of the different joints of your hands legs and gradually your head up and chin very close with your knees after attaining the position as per the condition of the body just try to be still movements minimum and let the inner body do some regenerating for you nourishing joints usually 
numerous problems of arthritis could be cured just with this position. But you just need to do it. Whatever you are doing, the impression should be stored around this region of the body so that you could grab maximum benefits throughout the day while you are finished with your regular yoga practice. And it is important to work or serve your neck to do that. Let's work with the variation of Supta Vajrasana. Legs, both of them close. Hand, close with the body. Palm, on the ground. Body, straight, stressed. Now slowly, turn your neck to place the top part of your head on the ground, lifting your back upwards slightly. And look towards the ground. Ranjana Supriya. Just be still for some time. And whenever you are into the position, if you are keeping your eyes open, you should look towards some fixed point. Not to move your gaze much while doing the practice. It should be still. Gradually, straight up your neck and take your back towards the ground. We'll do the same variation of Supt Tarasan, but with slight different position of the leg. Get ready. Fold both the legs and keep your foot on the ground. Hands still close with the body. Exhale one time deeply to rest your neck and then slowly Again, lift your neck back from the ground and try to put the back part of your head on the ground for some time. Body still. Slowly, straight up your neck. Spread your legs, spread your hands. Loose up your whole body and take rest for some time. And just let the body absorb the effects of your previous attempts. Now, after doing your practice, you should rest for some time. Just letting the body absorb the effects of your sincere efforts. And the rest in yoga is slightly different than what we used to do with our sleep. Yogic rest means awareness of the body for some time after or at the end of the practice. We'll just do that now. Keeping your eyes closed, keeping your body still and forgetting all your previous knowledge and understanding, just make up your mind to stay with your own body for a few minutes. With the closed eyes, just one time, try to sense your head. Where lies your forehead, eyes, ears, nostrils, your mouth, Then drop down your awareness to feel your neck in its complete circumference, the sides, the front and the back of your neck. 
and then shift your focus to feel your hands. Right hand from the right shoulder joint travel down up to your right palm. Left hand from the left shoulder joint up to your left palm. Then shift your attention to feel the front part of your trunk. Abdominal organs. The natural rise and fall is going on. Just stay there for some time. Then your attention shifted towards your lungs to feel its natural expansion and contraction. And then your attention shifted towards your back. Simply feel your lower back area, upper back area and the whole length of your spinal column from the lowest point till the back of your neck and then your legs right leg from right thigh joint up to your right foot feel your left leg from left thigh joint up to your left foot just stay with the minimal movements just relax After doing this process of absorption, we should end the session with the chanting of Om for three times. Let's get ready. Gradually wake up and sit up. Sit straight comfortably. Hands at rest around your knees, chin slightly down, minimal contraction over your face and make up your mind. Chant OM the way it is coming from your inside followed by an inhalation each time. Keep the voice mild and try to listen your own chant. Sit still in silence for some time. Then take a breath deep in. And while exhaling, gently open up your eyes. Thank you so much, this much for the first episode. Dhanyabad Darsagbin. आज हामीले अरुणोदय योगाको पहिलो भाग यहाँहरुलाई प्रस्तुत गरेका थियौ आज हामीले पहिलो भागमा विभिन्न चार वटा आसनहरु यहाँहरुलाई प्रस्तुत गरियौ र अरुणोदय योगा लाई तपाईहरुले भक्ति दर्शन टेलिभिजनको युट्युब मार्फत पनि हेर्न सक्नुहुनेछ आजको हाम्रा योग गुरु विशाल सरलाई धेरै धेरै धन्यवाद र तपाईहरुको दिन शुभ रहोस् नमस्कार